eastbound down, loaded up and trucking. We're going to do what they say can't be done. Yee! see behind me we're working on the old cab over today we're gonna be slicking her up just a bit not even a cat person why there's so many cats around my house it's because I'm cat daddy but let's get to the video here you know they say chrome don't get you home but we're gonna be polishing out some tanks today and stuff like that. Do a little work on old cab over. Why? Go we can. So let's get to it, y'all. Can you tell the difference from that to that? That's just cut. We ain't done a color yet. I'm gonna finish cutting this, and then uh, we're gonna get to work on some other things on it. So y'all hang on. A lot of work goes into this. Whew. But to me, it's worth it. It makes a difference. This gets your truck a lot cleaner looking, makes it look better, and the law don't mess with you so bad. They know you take pride in your ride. Pride in your ride, that's a country song. Oh yeah, it's cutting pretty good, especially just using a Harvard Freight pad. So anybody out there wanna send me some real pads and real stuff, you know, yeah, uh, yeah, whatever. I don't mind. <coughs> But, we gotta do away with this, y'all. 
we want two probably seven or eight inch stacks coming up the back this whole thing do away with all this get it all clean and of course like i said we're going to paint it i just don't like the paint on it i still gotta get in there and clean everything up on it right now i'm just trying to shine all the tanks and wheels up all that good stuff when we paint it we'll take the gravel handles off shine them up i don't know might do something different with them but yeah just no turd y'all and y'all see how the tank is over here i'm about to sand it too it ain't too bad i don't think it's bad as that side over there but we want it looking like that uh, you know whatever yeah uh like i said stacks coming up the back got a big kitty cat in there Think about doing something different with this hitch. We're definitely gonna paint the, repaint the frame too. All that good stuff. Gotta put a levelizer valve on it, y'all. Had to air it up with a screwdriver. Push that in with a screwdriver and their bags come up. But, yeah. Uh, oh. All right, y'all. You can tell. Been working my butt off. Work harder when I get home than I do at work. <clears throat> we're getting there. Like I say we just cut it. Still got to color it. Still got to finish cutting this back here. Y'all can tell the difference in her. I hope. That's just cut. I mean, it's got some scrapes in it, but got a couple dings in it. But well, it's just an old truck. Later on, we might put some new tanks on her. I don't know. I'm just ready to get it painted. Just talked to a buddy of mine. He's throwing a truck show. Uh, October 30th, I think it is, 31st. We'll be there. It's at Searcy, Arkansas. So, uh, if y'all want to come, check the truck out. Check all the other trucks out that's going to be there. I'll definitely be there with old cab over. But I'm going to keep working on it. But anyway, I just talked to him. And he's got some six inch stacks, brackets and all. He's just giving me. He helped me take off his Peterbilt, so he's putting seven inches on it. So we'll fix out some nice, pretty six inch stacks on it. All that good stuff. But yeah, y'all can tell this tank, that's a big difference, y'all, between that tank over there and this one. And this is the better one. That one over there was bad. Like I said, we're just cutting it right now. Still got to color it. Makes a difference, y'all. And once we get the wheels polished out, all that good stuff, get the quarter fenders. I'm looking for some, uh, I like to have some half fenders or full fenders would be nice on it. Get rid of these quarter fenders because everybody knows it throws everything all over the cab. But yeah, and I'm also looking for a 40 foot trailer, at least 10,000 pound axles with uh, monster ramps, mega ramps, whatever you call them. Goose snack to go behind it. One more lease it on. That's what they require. 40 foot trailer. I'm hot, y'all. I say I work harder when I get home than I do. You know, that's the price of owning your own truck, though. We still got polished the grill out, all that good stuff. Y'all let me know who's got the best visor for this truck. I want to get a visor for it. Just a little bit out of time. But like I said, I'll be at the show. Searcy, Arkansas, October 30th, 31st. Y'all come check the truck out. All that good stuff. Hopefully I'll have a lot done to it by then. And hopefully it'll be on the road by then working. But I don't know, it looks like a... Oh, looks like that tank may be leaking right there where it's dented. I checked that out. It is, we have to weld it up or change the tank out one. Either way, we'll get it fixed. 
that's gonna be it for this video. Just wanna get y'all up there on old cab over. Just working on a little bit at a time every day when I get home from work. I'm driving over to Kenworth. So whew. I guess I'll see y'all later. Big kitty cat under the hood. Little kitty cat over in the truck tire. Ladder, y'all.